the grade 7 math practice test for TN Ready. Question number 7 on this version. Ivan is painting three walls in his living room. I have an uncle named Ivan. Each wall measures 9 and 3 fourths feet tall by 14 and 1 fourth feet wide. We're going to assume, just because why wouldn't you, that the walls are rectangles. I don't think they're like hobbit doors where it's a circle. And plus they have different dimensions, so that wouldn't be a circle anyway. It'd be some sort of weird ellipse. So the height is 9 and 3 fourths, 9 and 3 quarters if you're a Harry Potter type. And then 14 and 1 fourth wide. Ivan needs to estimate the total area he will paint in order to determine the amount of paint to purchase. Usually you kind of want to go up with those numbers because you want to have excess left over just in the real world. In this case, we're not doing that. We're going to do a mix, but whatever. Which expression best represents the estimated area in square feet that Ivan will paint? So one thing that you should consider is that the area formula, because we have to cover all of it, right, is length times width. So it's something like 14 and 1 fourth times 9 and 3 fourths. We're estimating, so we'll just round them. 9 and 3 fourths is good enough to be 10, 14 and 1 fourth. Let's go down and make it 14. And then there's three walls. So we have 14 times 10 plus 14 times 10 plus 14 times 10 because three walls are being painted. So now I need to figure out which expression matches that statement. The first is 3 times 10 plus 3 times 14. Well, what? That doesn't make any sense. That's not how you do area. You have to multiply the length times the width, and these two numbers are never multiplied, so that's out. Now, in this case, they are multiplied, but it's in a weird way. It's not, like if we look at it, we have 14 times 10 three times, right? So we're really looking at this. This is saying we should have three of them, and then we're multiplying by three of them. It's a mess. That's not how you do area. It's going to be too much anyway, because you're going to multiply. Um, even if you did 10 times 14 in your head, you still have two sets of threes. I mean, like for what? So that's out. Now this one says 3 plus 10 times 14. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, except for the fact that each one of these will be... Um, each one of these will be 10 times 14 each. This whole plus 3 thing doesn't really make any sense, even though there's three walls, because we have to do this three times. So 3 times 10 times 14. So that gives me my answer for D. So in this case, they're, asked, they're at least nice enough to have you estimate to numbers that make sense. And then you need to think, okay, what am I actually doing? If you're painting a wall, I need to maybe make the drawing. I don't know. I would probably do it. Um, and then write down length times width, just so I can sort of remind myself that this is really what I'm working with. And then I think, okay, there's three groups of them, so I need to paint that amount three times, one for each wall, and then that gives me three times. Um, sometimes the words that we use to indicate what we're doing just kind of match up to the mathematical uh, words and concepts that we would be using, and this is one of those times. Ha ha ha. So um, use that to your advantage.